Hello. Hello, gents. Oh god, it's I slowed it to normal. What a what a nerd. This is a hair drag. How's it going guys? I'm gonna do a cast. I'm gonna do one of those old fashioned recorded YouTube casts. That's that's like uh it's like riding a horse and buggy to your grandma's house. That's how old school this is because everybody watches streams now. I stream. You guys should watch my stream. Anyways, this game is between Select, who I'm addicted to this guy's stream. I have I'm gonna go ahead and say it. He is the best damn Terran in the world. I this guy watching this guy play is incredible. He his army control is just disgusting. He's out of he's just he's just out of this world. If you've never watched Select play, he 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 was a great player in Wings of Liberty and he left to play Dota 2, which was I'm gonna go ahead and say a bad call on his part. You can see he's going uh, command center first in this TVP. Um, New Kirk Precinct, kind of ballsy, but it's pretty good. I, th I think it'll be okay. Uh, but select, he went and he left him and played Dota 2, and he came back from Dota 2 now, and he just recently started laddering. I watched him. I just happened because I was subscribed to him because I liked him in Wings Liberty, and it said collect, select is streaming StarCraft, and I was like, oh my god, no way. And I watched his first game of Heart of the Swarm. He didn't even read about any of the units. He doesn't know. He didn't know what Widow Mines were. He didn't know. Like, he just kind of started playing on the ladder. And, you know, Homeboy was top 50 Grandmaster within three days? Nah, five days. Something like that. That's how good this guy is. So, I wanted to cast one of his games because he is really, really, really awesome to watch. And my hero. And... Let's be honest here, I'd go homo for him. Like, if he just asked, I'd be like, you and me, we're going to be boyfriends. Boyfriends together. And, uh, I wouldn't even hesitate. No compunction whatsoever. <laughs> That's how good he is at StarCraft. Um, so yeah, Command Center first. Two naked Raxes. Uh, he's going to fill up this bunker. I think he'll probably do an add-on here. No, he's going to keep making Marines. Uh, and check this out. Check out this. Let's look at this craziness. I never seen him do something like this. That's awesome. He's in danger of getting food blocked, but you know, hey, when you're building a crazy proxy command center way away from your base on stream, you know, sometimes you get the little things. We'll forgive him. So throwing down another Rax. Uh, I can see lots of activity from his opponent, Protoss opponent, all over the map. Great, throwing down pylons. Tigusohel is his name. Which I believe is German for naked clockmaker. Yeah, it's true. It's I speak I speak in the Deutsch, you know? It's fine. No big deal. Um I think he'll probably be able to hold this. Got a couple centuries. He is warping in more homeboys here. A couple more centuries. Maybe if he warped in a stalker or two more, but of course this guy's in Grandmaster and I'm not. I'm sure he knows what to warp in as Protoss more than I do. So he's got his Mothership Core, his MSC, the notorious MSC. Uh, loves it when you call it Big Papa. Uh, just scouting it out with the SCV, see what's going on here. Got uh, two full bunkers. I'd kind of like to see him pull these and put them on auto repair since he knows a big push is coming. That's going to soak up some damage. Uh, there's the SCV pull. This Rax is going to go down. He preemptively empties it. Force fields. Uh, this Rax is, or I'm sorry, this bunker. Look at the third bunker finishes just in time back here, so he's going to hold this. He and his greedy, greedy command center muling away. Uh, still, if I got a tech lab here, he's not starting any upgrades. Maybe did a Reaper. Uh, I don't think he did. No, no. He was just, just busy getting, getting pushed, so. This game's long, by the way. There's the stim. Uh, this game's very long, and I'm gonna fast forward through parts of it. There's the Mothership Core. I'm not sure what it was up to. Does he remember to put this? He didn't remember to put this guy back on gas. Oh no, no, he did. He's just doing two, two on each because he understands things I don't. Like me, I'm like, if there's a gas, even if it's my last three workers, the gas has to have three workers. I mean, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> But he thinks about things that I cannot, that my little, my little squishy Caucasian brain can't even handle. He's got Korean brains, so. Protoss, not getting blink. Going uh, right up to HTs. Maybe DTs, but I doubt it. 
Um, yeah, and this dude's uh, got this craziest third income coming in, and it's going to be very deceptive for Protoss. He's going to keep trying, he's going to keep insisting, unless he scouts it and finds it, which, let's check his vision before I start talking. No. Uh, he's going to keep, like, assuming he's just two base all inning. Uh, and, like, he thinks he's starting his third here, and that it's really late, which is going to very, very make him very aggressive against a stronger army than he expects. Really good tactic. This sneaky kind of stuff can really work wonders if it works. Of course, if it gets busted, it will be bad news. He's going to do a little aggression of his own here. He's going to have more than more than Protoss expects, and he's going to have more reinforcements than Protoss expects. He's working in a bunch of zealots here. Um, there's the stim. He's going to check for the third. I don't think this force can push in against this, especially with the three sentries, but... You know, I've been wrong before, like, always. No, he's going to pull back because he agrees with me because I'm so pro -su. That's a new word that no one ever thought of. pro -su. That's me. Uh, so, yeah, Zealots. Uh, he's got 1-1 one, one on the Zealots. Uh, upgrades for Select. He's still on 0-0, zero, zero, but uh, this base is now really rocking out. And uh, he's producing. Uh, he's just about to finish 1-1 one, one on his infantry, and he's going to cut slightly to start. So, good for him. Uh, looks like Protoss is going to respond. He's got High Templar with Storm out, uh, but he's going to take the quick exit off this ramp here. Uh-oh, uh he's going to lead Protoss right to his secret base. Oh no, Protoss backs out. <laughs> oh man. Upgrade yeah, complete. he still doesn't know about it. Oh, but he's going to bust and bust these. Oh, the feedback's going to be able to... No, he's out of range. Oh, he's going he's gonna to try and catch him. These zealots do have charge, so... I do not know who wins this game. I have not seen it. I just saw a long game and wanted to cast it. I just felt like casting Select because he's awesome, so... Uh, the number one strength of Selects is army control. His macro is not as good as, say, like a Flash or a uh, Flash, but his army control is impeccable, which I admire a lot because that's definitely my biggest weakness. Throws down the stump of an engineering bay here. And those engineering bay stumps, they can be rather hardy. Oh no, he's going to continue it now. So he's going to just wall off with those. He never repaired this, and this is still a dirty secret. So, uh, Protoss, ooh, a lot of very zealot heavy. No hellbats in this army. Um, no factories, actually. There's the factory going over there. So he's going to throw down a drop. Protoss did see that, and he's going to back out. He does not like the look of it. I think his observer made him, and this is where he's, this Protoss has to be wondering, like, what the hell, like, where's he affording all this from on two bases? He's got to be a third base, and I think he's finally going to find it, yeah. He is going to find it, and here's the drops. Let's see how they do, we'll keep an eye on those. And there, the Protoss, I don't know if he sent that stalker on purpose or not, but either way, he now knows he knows the jig is up. Select does so. It's pretty funny. Uh, I think maybe that was just bad pathing that saved that. But I can't say for sure. Protoss may have. Oh, turn on the noise here. Forgot about uh, how loud this can be when I'm casting. And I totally am just playing music. Yeah, whatever. So. Coming in here, just got this little expedition force here, taking out some zealots, you know. I'd like to see him snipe that High Templar, but he was busy getting fucked with here. Lots of snipes going down from the, from the ghosts. The ghosts have one EMP available. Uh, definitely wants to keep those alive if he can. Wish he would kill this observer, but, you know, what can you do? Another time warp goes down there. Uh, He's got a decent amount of Hellbats now. That is a very Zealot heavy force. Uh, we're almost done with 2 2. 2 2 is finished for the Protoss. That's normal. Um, he lands this command center here and he's going to go ahead and abandon the ship here. Meanwhile, this push, this space is going to get taken out. I don't know if. Yeah, it looks like he did kill all the SCVs at that secret base. But the secret base, I think, definitely paid for itself. Uh, he mined off that thing for a long time and got a lot of benefit from it so 
just uh, continuing to macro up here. Ghosts, got five ghosts about to hatch from their ghost eggs, uh, which is right here. These little buildings you add on, they're called ghost eggs. And the mother ghost lays little baby ghosts right out of her big chicken butt. And she clucks every time. Somebody call for a... Whoa! That's, that's what the ghost mother sounds like. Um, never know what hit him. Um, yeah, 190 to 170 supply. Sorry, I got off on a little bit of tangent there. We're mining off. We're not mining here yet. So select mining off three bases. This is also just starting. So they're on a pretty even keel now, but select is going to max first. And he saved this command center, which is awesome for him. Uh, he's going to go ahead and push out now. His 2-2 is finished. And he is going to look beautiful at that valet recital. I tell you what. 2-2. His 2-2 is finished. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thinking about speeding this up until we have an engagement. We're going to see a lot of dancing here. Oh, he's got the ghosts up front. Lots of feedbacks. Lots of snipes. He does snipe a good um Oh, big storm there. Hits a lot of stuff. But not everything. Lots of ghosts surviving, which is good. It's very, very zealot heavy. There's the MPs. Not many Vikings. I'm looking like one Viking. And these charge lots are going to be bad news for these ghosts. He better pick them up. Pick them up. There you go. And he boosts out. So uh, not a good engagement for Select. Uh, he does manage to salvage a lot of those ghosts. Yeah, so four ghosts there. Yeah, a bunch of ghosts there. So... But all he's got is ghosts, and now this base is getting pressured hard. He is going to lose that command center that I was lauding before. And a uh, little zealot over here being being a blue-eyed dickhead. So that's what zealots do. I think they have blue eyes. I mean, they're Protoss, right? Show me your eyes. God, you never look me directly in the face anymore. Um. So now that... Selects over here dealing with one Protoss. Zealot. The push is going to come in here. Uh, he did see it coming on the sensor tower, luck luckily, but the sensor tower does go down. Uh, whiffs with that storm. The Vikings could have been taking shots there, but they weren't. They were kind of just sitting still. So, uh, Pretty good counterplay. Uh, pretty good play by this Protoss. Uh, he's now ahead in the food count. Uh, good timing attack. Uh, well, I don't want to call it a timing attack. Good timing on that attack. <laughs> um... And a uh, pretty bad engagement from Select there on... Ah, well, I mean, it wasn't horrible. It just kind of turned out poorly because there was so many more Zealots than I think Select expected. Uh, he's finally got Stalker Heavy now, which is a nice tech switch for him, but Select does have a solid number of Marauders. Uh, Marauder Hellbat. Did I miss a drop? Yeah, I totally did. Sorry about that. Uh, Marauder Hellbat is amazing uh, against non-gateway heavy compositions, like Colossi Templar. But at this point, this guy's got Colossi Templar and pretty heavy gateway composition. But I still like Select's army composition more right now. Um, just make sure to keep those ghosts alive, which he is doing a good job of. He wants to snipe some Colossi with those Hellbats. I mean, Hellbats. Vikings, which would definitely be helpful, but... There's the ghost. Uh, Got to go DMP off on that Archon, and uh, now these Stalkers are going to go down. Stalkers, ooh, Stalkers taking out Vikings. The Vikings do have the plus one attack, which is helpful for sure, but he is losing all the Vikings now. But at what cost? Because this big bio army of 3-3 is now going to push in uh, with Hellbat support. Fat-ass storm there. Big ol' fat-ass storms going down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think I'm funny. Uh, and he's going to warp in here and harass this fifth base, but there's nothing there yet. Select throwing down lots of command centers, as Terrans in the end game will do, because they just have so many goddamn minerals, and why not have giant plated buildings with cannons on their heads? You know, all over the map. Why the hell not? Can't hurt, right? Unless they spend all their money on it. But uh, yeah, we're now at a maxed versus maxed end game. It got all the upgrades I want. 
kind of part of the game which is going to come down to army control, which, like I said earlier, uh, Select is one of the best there is at. Although this guy's this guy actually controls his army very well too. Never heard of him, but he's playing very very well. So, so I mean that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, he's constantly harassing here, which is good. That's what he wants to do. He's going to pull Select's army away, and then yeah, this fifth base is going to go down. A lot of ghosts here. Would not be surprised to see some nukes happening, which would make this a fun cast. It's not happening yet, though. Although he has plenty of money. He probably should just get a bunch of nukes for the hell of it. Um, Marauder's now getting charge lots on him. Lots of EMPs go down. Oh my god. Massive amounts of EMPs. Nice pullback from that storm. Sorry, slowed down to normal. There's some snipes. Uh, but the instant warp in here. Protoss's strength with warp gates coming into play. He's now ahead in food. And it's zealot heavy. Very zealot heavy. And looks like Select is not making Hellbats. So it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough going. Here comes the big 9 range Colossi. God, how many zealots is that? It's preposterous. 25 zealots. I guess it's not that much. But it looks like a lot. Nice drop over here. Totally takes out the space. Marauders are very good at doing that, taking out buildings. Uh, standing on more Raxes now. And we'll pause it for a second. Look at the army worth, army supply. Yeah, reds is a little bit higher, but it's pretty close at this point. Uh, uh huh, uh huh. Good army control from both players. I'm very impressed by this. Um, oh god. I just... What happened? Anyways. Um, this game is... Uh, and unfortunately for Select, I have to say... Although these drops are very, very effective. An endgame Protoss army is always going to be more scary than an endgame Terran army. That's just that's just the way it be. So tries to repair this planetary, obviously there's too much damage there for the zealots. Well actually it's not just that there's too much damage, it's just there's no room. It's like musical chairs upon that planetary fortress, you know, everybody with melee attack wants to wants to squeeze in there and the SCVs can't repair, so that is an advantage of the zealots there. They charge all around the building and can't repair it. Um, this I think I don't think SCVs go through any units when they're repairing I doubt it could be wrong loading up some Hellbats here and some Marauders uh, about dead even in Spood right now uh, I'm going to go ahead and say Protoss is, is much more army yeah he's well it's not too terrible but Select has been taking out pro, uh, peripheral bases while uh Tigu Sohel has uh, been taking out army, as you can see. Didn't stim there. Uh, took a lot of zealot hits. He needs to repair this because it's burning. Tough engagements here. It is so hard to engage. I mean, look how many archons he has now, and it's just tons of zealots. It's really hard to fight that. And a nice storm there. Fat storm <laughs> happening there, so. But there's those drops we were talking about. Uh, he's going to take a lot of probes here and probably try to stim down this Nexus. I don't think he's going to do it. Uh, maybe he'll do it. Uh, maybe he doesn't. Uh, yeah, no. No, he doesn't do it. But it's okay. He's going to continue dropping, which is good. That's what you want to do. I don't know if you want to pull all your medevacs. There you go. Lots of spotters here. Just a little zealot harass here and there to go kill mules. Uh, really nice play from both players. Both of these guys are almost as good at StarCraft as me, which is that's that's to be applauded. No, no question that should be that should be congratulated. And they just can't. Protoss can't quite crack the shell here of this, uh, this army by selecting the constant harasses. 
There's a big engage. Oof. Lots of storms. Lots of EMPs at the same time. Yeah, look at that. 176 to 175 before the warp in. Uh, and here comes a push that's going to happen on this base. Whew, this game is play. This game is playing out. I mean, the bank's going to save select here. He's got 4,000 bank. These guys are playing so well. Uh, do we have nukes yet? No nukes. I'd like to see some nukes. Nice snipes though. Ooh, every ghost dies, but he's got, he's got a big engage there. There's no storms to be had. Uh, and there's a there's a little push here. He does stop this base from happening. So Protoss is just about starved, while Select is not mining a whole lot, but he had a pretty solid bank, and it's probably going to win him the game. Although he's mining healthily from here, so that's good. This is a little undersaturated, so... Mm, tough, it's tough. Zealots? Oh, no, that's cool. That's fucking awesome. Um... Zealots. What was I saying? Zealots. They're hard to fight because, like in Proto in in StarCraft One, zealots were like these little like squishy bears that just like melted when anything like flicked them. In StarCraft Two, they fucking strapped on Havel's full armor and like fucking just tank. Like they have thick, thick Abrams tank plating. Like not nah, fuck that Panzer Tiger tank plating. Like they are annoying how how tanky zealots are in this game uh but they play that role very well and that obviously if they didn't have a tanky unit like that protoss would be pretty helpless i'm just saying it's annoying okay snipes that high templar very nice and he's gonna come and try and push in here but there's no way emp goes down yeah uh sitting on 118 minerals not mining oh he is mining a bit but not a whole lot and select sitting at a consistent 3,000 bank. He's mining pretty healthily still. And uh, yeah, he is, uh, Protoss is not going to be able to refor afford reinforcements here. So Those constant drops, look, he's still doing it over here. Those Marauder drops will starve a Protoss in the end game if you can manage to stay alive while it's happening. That's something I don't know how to do at all. I try to do these Marauder drops and Protoss just walks over my army and that's because I have poor control. When you have good control, as you can see by these... Oh, see, look at that. Case in point. When you have good control, you can uh, do plays like this. Fat Storm there. <laughs> Takes a lot of Marauders down, but Marauders are pretty good against Storm. They're pretty, pretty stout boys, you know. They eat lots of sticky barbecue ribs or what have you. Uh, these Vikings could snipe much more quickly. Uh, he is going to lose this base. Z Zealots are just so brutal. And, oh my god, Storm's going down. He's going to need to be back real fast. He's spending that bank I was talking about. And it's looking a little scary now, but they're both they're both in dire straits now. That was a good engagement by Protoss. He just went for that cutthroat and it worked out because of some solid, solid storms. Good god, this game is long. Um, here's a big engagement over here. He's going to take out Raxes and this space, looks like. Uh, meanwhile, clearing the space here. Makes sense to me. Uh, is he going to try and come in here? He should. Lose some starports, lose these. And a nice little Marauder drop here. Zealots come to stop it, but it's just too... It's gone in the wind, man. Gone. Like a heart in the wind. Yes, I said, I said an adult word. Please don't tell your mothers. <sighs> so Protoss now looking about 50 foot ahead. I do, man, that was a good engagement by him. I don't know if he's going to be able to win this. So many zealots. God, it's disgusting. I hate that unit. Uh, zealot heavy armies are tough to deal with when there's storm involved. But, uh... Select doing what he can. He's uh, taking a look here. He's macroing up some Hellbats, some Medivacs. Whew. And uh, neither player is mining at this point. There is no, no mining happening. Oh, there we go. Fresh mining. One of the mining or two. That's obviously not going to happen. Let's check Protoss. Yeah, he's mining here. So that's good. 
Uh, looks like he might not be mining here much longer, though. Nope, four beats. So, Select knows this how important this uh, this Nexus is. In the meantime, uh, whew, so many zealots. Uh, is he going to be able to take out this Nexus? Uh, looks like no. Uh, oh god, huge engagement happening. Uh, there's the ghosts. Uh, I missed the MPs. Looks like they were pretty good because I only saw one storm there and a lot of living bio units. So let's rewind that just a bit. 42.19. Let's check these EMPs on this engagement. I was looking at the Nexus. But we will see what kind of EMPs we get here. So here he is, bringing over cloaking. Yeah, yeah, all of those zealots just became Brood War zealots. Um, and only one storm goes off, so great, great storms. While Protoss was looking away at this Nexus, which is still going to go down, by the way. Uh, tons of EMPs go down all over. So, that's great. Uh, oh my god, we're down to 60 food each. Big engagement with the Archons. Ah, Archons, very strong. Is he going to be able to macro? He's macroing seven marines while Protoss is macroing nothing. And this, he needs to focus this Nexus, and he does. Presence of mind. Holy shit. And the cloaked ghost, he doesn't have an observer. Oh my god, he could have continued pushing, but he can't handle the ghosts. Oh, good lord. Good lord, this game is crazy. This game is like... You know, crazy. <laughs> um, does take out that last mining base of selects. Uh, neither player has a bank. It's got a little bit of mining happening here. Not much. Uh, so it's going to come down to this engagement. It's, oh, he needs to cloak those ghosts. Oh, he used his energy on snipe. There we go. He cloaks those last two. The marines are stimming around. Oh, good god. It's, I have no idea who's going to win this game. Oh, here he was mining over here. He has mule energy. Oh, God, save your base. Oh, boy. He has no army to save. Or to save it. He's going to drop. Uh, okay, he's mining here. He's trying long distance mining from here. This. That's it. He's going down. Here's the drop. He wants to kill probes, which, I mean can't blame him. I don't know where his army is. Neither player is producing anything because they don't have any money. Here's the rest of that army, that little clump, and oh my god, it's going to be a base trade now. <laughs> no way. A um, couple marauders, couple ghosts. He's going to do what he can against this force. Nothing at home here for uh, our Protoss player. Don't fly in those cannons. You should be okay. Uh, so he is going to take this out. Uh, Lifting is not going to matter a whole lot. He pulls his marauders and whatnot back back into his main. Uh, meanwhile, these marines are causing havoc. No more probes. We're talking about zero probes versus four SCVs. And there they are. They're not even long distance fighting. And here comes the big, pu uh, the big push. Here comes the push. He should raise these supply depots like a wall. That would be cool. Um... Producing two medevacs, and yeah, Protoss realizes at this point he's got to, he can't, he's got to stop this, these marines because he can't kill the base fast enough. Um, taking out every nexus, he wants to take out the nexus so he can see, uh, get the map vision, and so the player cannot produce probes. Uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce his game name again, so. And yeah, pulls his army back here, and uh, now he's going to go ahead and move out. No production from either player. Uh, zero probes. Now three SCVs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the long-distance miners are in trouble. you got to save at least one of those SCVs. Looks like he will. Yeah, he's floating now. He's floating. Uh, solid little army still here. Selects Marines are here. He's going to buy time with those uh, floating Raxes. Uh, he does have two SCVs alive, and he's going to go try and clean this out so these Zealots can continue. I mean, sorry, these SCVs can continue to mine, which is a 
exactly what's happening. Oh my god. Here comes the, he's gonna blink up here. And it's crazy. It's I mean it's insane. I don't know what to do. I don't know who you are anymore. My god, this game is insane. Um this game is so crazy, I bet lots of other people cast it now that I think about it. Oh well. Fuck them, they suck. I'm just saying, they're bad. Um, they're not Gold League Pro like me. Um, he's going to have to do... He's, it's going to be hard. It's gonna. He's going to have to use his positioning and his stims very carefully and micro this really well because... Here comes the Protoss army, and he's using those Raxes to absorb shots. He's going to engage these two. Yeah, nice EMP. Missed that EMP. There's the Zealots. He does take out a couple Protoss units there. Uh, and he's God damn. One Archon, eight Stalkers, nine Zealots, versus four Medivacs, 17 Marines, three Marauders, two Ghosts. And uh, if Protoss keeps running away, he's going to slowly get his units peeled off, just like that. And uh, he has no way of producing new units, while Select is... Did he lose those uh, SCVs? Yeah, he did lose those SCVs. Oh shit. This is it. Uh, there you go. He just needs to get those concussive shells off. Oh, oh, is he going to stim again? I don't know if you should stim again. He's not going to stim again. Cool as a cucumber under the pressure there. And uh, Protoss knows he's out now. That was a crazy ass game. Wow. Ah, uh, wow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's pulled it out in the end with those two SCVs. And those Marauder drops, man. Wow. Such, such crazy. And good sport here from the Protoss. That's awesome. See you. Thanks for the game, Mr. Select. Very classy. Good job. Wow, that was a great game. Anyways, this uh, game's been really long, so I'm going to cut it short here. not going to have a lot of expository post-game analysis. Um, yeah, that was great. It's been Sahara Drac. Sahara Drac on Facebook. Sahara Drac on YouTube. Tell me if you're doing a tournament. I'd love to be the voice for your tournament. All right, bye.